What's up, guys? I'm back with another movie review. Today, I'm here with one from Universal, and this is Breaking In. I should say up front, I'm very biased about this movie. I was super excited to see it as soon as I saw the trailers. I could not wait to check it out. It's kind of an almost an ideal movie where I'm the target demographic. I love home invasion movies. I love movies with badass females that are kind of uh, surprising action heroes, I guess you could say. Uh, so anyway, I'll get to it's not ex the movie actually wasn't what I thought it was going to be going into it, but I'll get to that later. The the story follows Gabriel Union, who plays a mom who is going to uh, the estate of her estranged father who recently passed away. Um, she had a lot of issues with him and hasn't been back in years, you know, since she was a teenager. Uh, but she has to go back and settle his affairs, you know, make get the house ready to be sold. So it's basically she has to spend a weekend back in her old life before she can leave it all behind again. Her husband is working, so he can't go with her, and uh, so she takes her two kids, and she's not happy about going, obviously, because she doesn't want to revisit those, you know, old memories, and her kids aren't happy about it because, you know, they'd rather do absolutely anything than go out into the middle of nowhere uh, with their mom for the weekend. So anyway, uh, once they get there, everything goes okay, but pretty soon they discover that this house has an incredibly high-tech, high-end security system with, uh, you know, just cameras everywhere, motion detectors, uh, motion lights and this like really crazy protective coating that goes over the whole house like over all the windows and everything so it's really really high tech and between that and her knowing that her father was being investigated uh, by the feds she kind of got clued in that there was a lot going on with her dad you know that she wasn't aware of you know so she knows that there's some there's a lot of issues there basically uh, where the movie kind of takes a turn is that a group of guys show up at the house planning to get into a safe which is supposed to hold four million dollars and they're not expecting anybody to be home and of course she's there with her kids and so it turns into a badass mom versus home invaders movie which is awesome that's the basic premise here so going into this based off the trailers i thought it was going to be a super dialed up melodramatic die hard with a mom kind of a movie and that's definitely not what it is um, i wouldn't have minded that by any means uh, but this is kind of a, I'm not going to say realistic because that's certainly not the case, but it's more of a grounded down to earth thriller that happens to involve like somebody being pushed past their normal limits and into a situation where they have to go, you know, deep within themselves to pull out another side, which is what the mom has to do. And they kind of lay the groundwork for that early on. The movie takes a little while to get going, and but that time isn't wasted because it establishes that there's something and they're not specific about it but that there's something between her and her dad that happened, you know, and what made her leave kind of hardened her and toughened her to the world. And even though she's moved on and has a family now, uh, that part of her is still in there. And so I think when the time comes when she flips that switch to become that badass, it makes sense. There's that little bit of work that they put in actually pays off pretty well, I think. Um, I'm sure there are people who will say, oh, a mom can't take on a whole squadron of bad guys, but those are probably the same people who, you know, argue that Thor is a realistic movie. So, you know, you have to suspend disbelief in even the most realistic movies. And so I think there's enough established, you know, that she can turn into a badass. And also, she's not some action hero in this. Most of the time, she's just, you know, stumbling into solutions and just, you know, using her head and her determination to overcome them. Um, I, I think her performance in this is really good. She's able to kind of do the badass parts really well. There's some amazing moments where everything just clicks into place and she's like i've had enough of this and she just gets this look on her face and you know she's just gonna like annihilate anybody that gets in her way uh she also handles the emotional parts pretty well luckily the movie doesn't fall too far into sentiment it's just a mom's bond with her children which is pretty believable and i think it's handled pretty well um the chemistry between her and the kids is really good so when those emotional moments come they pay off um <laughs> I can't, I can't talk about another part because I don't want to spoil it. But anyway, um, the action scenes are fine. The, they don't really kick in until the finale. Up until then, it's kind of a cat and mouse game. But the finale definitely dials things up. So you do get that kind of over-the-top stuff that happens at the end. But by that time, it's earned. So, you know, it's it's hard to really criticize it for it. And I, I wouldn't mind if it was over-the-top through the whole movie. Don't get me wrong. But especially when it comes to the performances in this, I think it was a wise decision to kind of tone them down. Um, especially Billy Burke, he could have easily gone way over the top as the villain, and he doesn't, and I think that it's better for it. And in those few instances when he does get to just chew through the scenes, I think it makes those moments all the better. So this is just, a, to me, it's a really fun thriller, a really fun kind of like B-movie that almost feels like a big screen, uh, amped up Lifetime movie, which of course is near and would be near and dear to my heart. 
So I had a lot of fun with this movie, and I definitely highly recommend it if you like thrillers and you like really strong female characters, or you just like the idea of a badass mom going toe-to-toe with a bunch of uh, home invaders. Uh, if you want to read my full write-up of Breaking In, you can do that at markfusion.com, as well as uh, well over a thousand other movie reviews of all kinds. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Mark Fusion if you want to see what I'm doing there. You can also go to Letterboxd and follow me there at Mark Fusion. Uh, to see what I've been watching and what might be coming to the channel soon. But the best way you can help me out is just to hit that sub button. Free, easy, direct way to support me, help me to keep making these videos, go out, going out and seeing these movies uh, early, as early as I can and uh, talking to you guys about them. And also watching older videos is a huge way to help me out as well. Um, it might not seem like it, but it, it absolutely is. So if there's something that catches your eye in the playlist out of the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of movie reviews um, in the playlist, uh, just know that you're helping me out by watching them. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry it went a little bit long. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon.